And in today's video, I'm actually just going to be opening up. So I bought a $300 mystery box from a guy on Instagram. His account, and I'll put it in the link down below, and I'll put up on screen, is Go Cards and Stuff USA. It's his account on Instagram. Um, I believe he has, he sells cards on, I think he's got a TCG player store and he used to do it on eBay, but I don't know if that's true anymore. I'll have to get the information from him to make sure I have it all correct. But yeah, so I got this from him actually just today. I'm really quite happy. I think I scribbled out enough of the information so there's nothing here for you guys to see. I scribbled out his address, my address, whatever else. Um, in this video, I'm actually just going to be looking at the box and seeing all the content on the inside, maybe opening up one or two small products if there's some small things. But for the most part, let's kind of look at it and then the box itself will turn into a couple of other videos will be the content on the actual inside of it. So let's get this bad boy cracked up. I got this package. So breaking the fourth wall here for a second. I got this package in at like 11 o'clock and it's now one, I believe. No, it's now two. It's now two o'clock. I've waited forever for this thing. So yeah, enjoy. That's his account right there, Go Cards and Stuff USA on Instagram. And then from there, you can either message him for links or whatever else to his stuff. And inside, we have packages. We have package number one. Keep them crisp. Open for, oh, open first. Okay. First, second, third. Fourth, fifth, $150 plus value booster box. Spicy. So when I originally asked him for the box, I knew I wanted to be like anywhere between like $250 and $300. And I knew, yeah. And I knew I wanted to at least have a booster box in there. So we kind of talked about it just like, I uh, like, just make it spicy. He's like, okay. He goes, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I need to know. Uh, a booster box over $100 or under $100? And I'm like, always, I'm like, over. 100% in this situation, over. And we have two more packages, but I'm trying to just make some room here. I'll keep number one over there. Then we have six. And we have Mr. Seven at the end. So, yeah, wow. Seven packages here, plus one of them I know is a booster box, and I'm super excited. Let's get into package number one. I should actually move my camera angle down just a little bit here. I, I brought it up a bit higher so I could do... So I could show the entire box and stuff like that, and then bring it down lower to do the rest here. A little, little, little sticky, some glue or tape or whatever there. Bubble mailer. Okay, so what we got. Okay, very nice. We got ourselves some deck, uh, some card sleeves, which is actually really nice. I need some card sleeves. So these will be perfect. I'll use them for the video. Then number oh, open second. A couple of cool kids. Ah, see, there must be something on either one. The numbered on one side with a little message on the other side. So I'll look at uh, I'll look at them all. Let's see what we got in here. I have not looked yet. Ah, some booster packs here. We have Legend, Legendary Duelist, Magical Hero, or Magic, yeah. And we have a Code of the Duelist. Very nice. Um, 
Actually, let's just go ahead and crack these open. Why not? We got a little bit of time here. Let's do Code of the Duelist first. I don't think I've actually opened up very much of this set, so it'll be very interesting to see what I got. I don't know if you remember. I think Firewall Dragon's the most expensive card in the set, but I could be wrong. We have a Speedroid Passage, Passing Glider. We have Junk Breaker, DD Vice Typhoon. And we have Cracking Dragon as our hollow, and World Legacy Discovery as our rare. With Treasure Panda, Orbital Highlander, Three Strike Barrier, Hackworm, and Back to the Beginning. Actually, interesting card is the uh, Orbital Highlander is actually not a bad card that decks still see, actually, that, that decks use um, and stuff like that. So, and I actually might end up using it, maybe. Okay, in our Legendary Duelist here, we have Elemental Hero Solid, Liquid Solid, the Dark Magician, nice little, uh, uh, nice little look there at the Dark Magician. And looks like a satellite warrior, I think that is. So those might be like, like kind of like go-to-ish cards you want to get out of the set, I'm assuming. Oh, my microphone's totally turned away from me. That is my fault. Quality's not great either way, but whatever. So this bad boy here, let's see what these two have to offer. I don't think I've ever opened up a pack of this. Yeah. There's a lot I've missed out on. A lot I've missed out on over the years. We have Spiral Flame Strike. Pendulum Dimension. Miracle Fusion. Super Supreme King Zark. Zark and we have Perform Pell. Popper Up. Oh, so it looks like you can either get a rare or something higher in these ones. Cool. Here we have Halfway to Forever, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, Quick Draw Synchron, A Hero Lives, and Zubaba Banco? Zubaba Badanko Gogo Goat. Yeah, that, I butchered that, but that's really funny. Some uh, nice there, actually. Some of those rares are actually like not bad or. Yeah, some of the cards there are not bad. Like, uh, Quick Draw Synchron isn't terrible. I don't actually really have much of a Synchro pool or any type of, like, tuners or anything like that, so... Might be something useful for me. And then we have Package... Ah! Zexalon 5Ds. Open third, with a nice little, uh, drawing there. That's one of the, uh... Oh, what's it called? It's from 5Ds. It's one of the, um... <sighs> the Immortal Beasts. The signs on the ground are for the Immortal Beast. I actually really like five, uh, Vectal and 5Ds and stuff like that, so I'm pretty excited for this. Let's see if I can figure out how to get it out of a pa package. How, how, do, how do packages work? Here we go. Oh, very nice. Special editions from each of these time period. We have Generation Force and Hidden Arsenal. Very cool. I think I might, I don't know. Am I gonna open these now or do I wanna save these for another vi video? Let me think on that. Let me just hold those there for a second. And number four, open fourth, new product from Go Cards and stuff. Ooh, it's a new product. Bit of a promotionalized thing for them, which very nice. There, gonna get my knife to help support that one. Don't worry, I'm safely doing it. All right, let's see what we got in here. 
Looks like we got some packs. Oh! Wasn't that cool? Oh, this is very cool. It's like their own kind of form of like a like a mystery box. You know, like when you go to Walmart, you get like the mystery box type deal. So they got like the bunch of like random packs. You got like a card or so in there. That's what this is with a nice little symbol there. That's actually a very beautiful symbol. Is that like a sticker? Oh, it's a sticker, I think. Oh, that's really cool. I'm actually going to probably keep this package. You hold some cards in it or whatever. Let's see what our card is on the end here. Oh, there's multiple cards! There are no sleeve. What do we have here? Okay, so it is a sticker. That's very beautiful. I actually love that. Love that. And let's take a look at our... Looks like they might all just be hollows, which would be really cool. There. Cut the smiley face sticker. Our hollows here are Elphis, Elphase, Lone Fire Blossom, Rika Tranquility, Four Mud Skipper, and Rika Sheet. Oh, with a Jap Oh, with a Rush Duel. That's a uh, Mookie Mookie. I have a Mookie Mookie. It's very cool. Alrighty, then. I actually really like this. This is. Actually, weren't probably a really freaking cool idea. I wonder how much they sell these things for. Probably like, what, 30 bucks, 20 bucks? So there are packs, we have Blazing Vortex. We have Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw, Eternity Code, Speed Duel, Attack of the Depth, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, Star Pack 2014, and Ancient Guardians. Okay. This is actually one that I'm most excited for, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Um, there's still a few cards I need to, there's actually a lot of cards I need to get in some of these packs. Well, hopefully we can pull a Starlight Rare, that would be so cool. So let's do Agent Guardians. I actually have opened up two boxes of this. So I always need some more cards though from this set. We have ourselves Pankratops, Rise of Snake Deity, Resulfa Cordremia, Bogos, the Akadama Bomb Boundless, Pot of Riches, Ayers Rock Sunrise, and El Sofacord Angelina. I actually think I need another copy of her. That's very nice. Put those there. Then we'll open up Blazing Vortex. I don't know why my mic is picking up so much here. It's like skyrocketing whenever I open up these packs. We have Ice Freeze Return, Neoria the Dream Mirror Disciple, Warrock Skylar, S Force Professor Degamma, and EMR as our hollow on the end there. Warrock Ordeal, uh, Wind Witch, Spriggans, Ojam Pink, Love Ojama. Cool! Uh, commons are here. Then the Legendary Duelist, Ra Rise of Ra? Rage of Ra. We have the Result Mechlord Army, Boon of the Mechlord Army, Mechlord Emperor Whistle, Token Stampede, and Everlasting Aloe. Alloy on the ends. I don't think I've ever opened up that set. So Eternity Code is actually a pretty, pretty spicy set. It's actually a very expensive set. Um, each booster box is like $170 roughly right now. Which is crazy, but there's a couple of cards in the set that are like some of the Starlight Rays are like four or five hundred dollars. So it's like two of them are like four, one of them's like five or six. Like they're really high price, so it makes sense. Crimson Resonator, Goldilocks, uh, Codebreaker Virus, Ancient Warrior Deceptive. Actually, I really need these. I love the Ancient Warriors. I'm actually trying to build that deck. Ooh. Dragon Maid Xiao. That's okay. Very nice. Gonna sleep that one up. Magical Hound. Pride of the Plunder Patrol. Lantern Shark. Uh, Plunder Votaurus. And back to the end. 
So I don't know the price of that card off the top of my head. I think some of the Dragon Maids tend to go fairly well anyways. Be uh, at least they did for a little bit because the Dragon Maid deck uh, had some potential. So... So, um, sorry, I just completely blanked out there reading some of the back of the packages here. So yeah, this one actually might do so well. I'll have to look it up. Here's a sleeve outside of the package. Very gorgeous, actually. Very nice sleeves and looks great in it. Very sturdy. Sturdy sleeves, too, which is nice. Then we have our star pack. And our speed duel. What star pack was what? Like 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 the OCS packs back in the day? Or is it different? And was it just like an actual thing? It might be an actual thing. Oh, star packs. It was like a never mind. I'm going off the rails for a second here. Power of Kiyoshin, uh Fishboard Planter, Vision, Desert of the Rituals, and Apprentice Magician. Okay. This seems like it's got to be pretty good, right? From from a speed duel box, getting an Apprentice Magician has got to be somewhat pretty nice. Sleeving her up because, holy crap, that's beautiful. Here she is in the beautiful sleeve here. I'm going to leave these two down front, I guess. We have Star Pack 2014. Taking control. We have Eye Iron, Photon Papillar Operative, and on the end here, Gaga -ga Gardena. All right, very nice. Seize card is always nice to get. I love Seize monsters, as you guys know. And I'm trying to hunt down all the numbers, as you guys also know. And Lord of Tachyon Galaxy has number monsters in them. I actually think, was it this box that I opened up or was it another one that I opened up? And I pulled the, uh, the big one. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The big one. Ah, uh, frick. What's his name? It's like the, uh, like the Numeron Tachyon something or other. Ugh, I'll have to look it up. This pack feels very, like, feels dense for some reason. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Wolf. Reactan, Dragon Ruler of Pebbles. Bachi, Bachi, Bachi. Mind Drain. Wheel of Prophecy. So this one, oh, this one, you were not guaranteed a hollow. Blizzard Falcon. Stream, the Dragon Ruler of Droplets. Spell Book of Miracles. Mim Mimic, and Back to the Beginning. But that's still nice, pretty nice looking rare. So cool. Alrighty then. Sorry, I just fell off the face of the earth there for a second. I actually am gonna open these up. Um, Cause I'm just generally curious to see what's in them. I forget what's in Hidden Arsenal. Uh, I think Hidden Arsenal had Ice Barriers. It had worms. It had um, Maturia? And a few other things. I actually opened up some hidden arsenal once on the channel. I think I found like a like a weird like five dollar pack thing from Target. And I ended up pulling, like, the best card in the set. So, yeah, that's, like, a thing. So, let's, uh, get the... I already attacked somebody there. I apologize. I just kind of... Again. The old... Get the packaging out. Throw that on the floor. And on the end, we have our... Oh, so it's guaranteed on the back. It actually shows you what the cards are. Oh, you're guaranteed one of two instead of four. Okay. So we got XX Saber Emmer's Blade, which is a limited edition card right there. So I'm actually going to see this bad boy. Typically, these things don't go for 
much, but sometimes some of the older ones, uh, some of the old ones are, can be okay. So. Let's leave it up anyways. It looks really nice. Plus limited editions. I like to keep those things in kind of good condition. So we have three packs of Hidden Arsenal here. Hidden Arsenal. One, two, and three. They had the, uh, oh. So this one's ice this one's ice bears, this one's ice barrier, and this one looks like it's the uh actually it looks like Dragoony these. But I could be wrong. The uh what else was in that? I think it was the uh the Vylons, I think, were in Hidden Arsenal. I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. So in the front here, we have X Saber, um, Abelium, Blizzard Warrior, Ally of Justice Rudra, Rudra, Ally of Justice Colossus, Colossal, and Flameville Dragnov. Put those off to the side. I have to see which one's supposed to. I think the front one's supposed to be the uh. Like, like the highest rated card in the set, and then the rest of them are just hollows after that, so. We have Ally of Justice Cosmic Gateway, Jurek Velo, Ally of Justice Reverse Break, Naturia Vine, Ally Mind, and so yeah. Yeah, so the front end card there is actually supposed to be the uh, the higher priced one, or like whatever, it's like the 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 card that you want to get. Actually, for those guys who might not know this, um, I don't think I've actually ever shared this on the channel. I have a binder that has a bunch of old cards from the Hidden Arsenal sets. So yeah, actually in this pack, I'm gonna put the front end card to the back. Nacheria Fruit Flat, Spell Breaker of the Ice Barrier, Worm Yagon, Fabled Toppy, and we have a Vindicite R Gen X. Actually, I think this is like really nice rarity. What the crap is that one, anyways? I'm gonna pull out actually all of these ones and sleeve them up. leaving up a lot of stuff here. I don't care. I... Ah! I think they look really nice, so I can do whatever the crap I want. Those there. Hollow poles, I guess. Been almost a half an hour doing this. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm supposed to shower and then... Go out to the store, go out to like Dunkin' Donuts or something. So I'm going to open up the next box here. And then I'm going to open up the next couple of packages so you guys can see what they are. And then there will be a part two to this video in which I open up those. Actually, probably end up being three parts. So I'll open up the booster box in a last episode type deal. But, like always, I will indeed go through and price check all the cards, and so the prices will be up on the screen. So, let's check them out in the sleeves here, so you guys get a nice little look. Same look that I got. Or at least the best that you can. Boom. Alright, let's get this box opened up. So on the back, my options are you can either get Elemental Hero Absolute Zero or Spore. I think in this situation, I would actually really like to get Absolute Zero. Um, I think it's a much better card over Spore and it's more playable. And probably is better priced. Let's see. And I got Spore. Of course I got Spore. Yeah, the one card I wanted to get I would never get. I had a 50-50 shot there. 50-50 shot. And I got a Spore. 
All right, Generation Force. Um, I know Leviathan, obviously, number 17, Leviathan, that dragon's on the front here. So that would be a really nice card to pull, but any number card or higher, like anything like that would be great. Skull Kraken, Underworld Egg Clutch, Colch, uh, Perdicious Puppeteer, Crash Bug X, and Star Changer, or a rare. Crash Bug Y, Mass of the Frame Dragon Sword, Aqua Jet, Spear Fish Soldier, and I think that's the beginning. Second pack here. We have a Utopia Aura. Lavalvo Magma Cannoneer. Yeah, these old packs feel so much heavier than the new packs. I don't know if it's just the way that they made the cards or what it was. Crash Bug Road. Wind Up Dog. And Big Jaws as the rare. Past image, Crash Bug Y, Master of the Flame Dragon Sword, Aqua Jet, Utopia Aura, Lavalva Oh, that's the beginning. Got some of the same cards there at the end. That's okay. I have no idea where I'm going to put all these cards, by the way. I need to go out and buy a bin or something. Get a... Yeah, I don't know. I gotta travel home with all these at some point in time. But I still have a little bit of time to think about that. Maybe I'll just bring some of them home when I go home. I should be going home this weekend. We have Crash Bug Road. Uh, Fly. Fly Fang? Begorgius. Begorgian Whirl Flame? And Super Crash Bug. Hey, look at him! I actually think I have this card. I do have this card already. And Mask Hero Goku. Goka. Fish and Kicks. Explosive Urachain. Uh, Gusto Corridor. Kodor. Double or Nothing. Crash Blood Road. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna sleeve this bad boy up. This was actually a part... I don't know, like, my brother's friend years ago... Like, years ago, gave me, like, the binder with all the cards in it and stuff like that. Like, it was crazy. So I've had these for, like, a good number of years, and it's just mental. So that's all the product I'll be opening up, like, actual packages and stuff like that, like, boxes. But I will show you guys all the rest of the stuff that I have. That I got in. So we have... Number five is what we are on. So let's figure out what booster box you gave me. It is a $150 booster box or above. $150 value or over. So really excited to see what type of spicy meatball he sent me. The spiciest of all the hot candies. The Juju Jamunga of everything. And I'm stupid. I don't know how to open up packages. I, I, I don't know how to open up packages. I don't... I, I hurt my hand earlier. I'm trying to be careful with it. I only use, like, one hand to do stuff. So, alright, I'm, like, in the process of, like, ripping this open so, so I don't, like, accidentally see it without being on camera first. Let me just... Oh! It's packaged again! Hmm. Well, if I had known that, I would have put less work into doing what I did. But it's fine. Alright, let's see what it is together. Oh, we will not be seeing what it is. Um, you're going to see a reflection of me. Hello! <gasps> oh! Dragons of Legends 2? Okay, I have never opened a box of this, so I am very curious to open this up. Very nice. Put that off to the side there, and we'll check out what the last two packages are. This one says, open, get your game on, spicy. So get your game on was the catchphrase from Zaxel, right? No. 
I'm sorry. It was GX. Are we going back to GX? And we are. We have a Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki. And we have Jaden Pack. Oh, Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki 2. And Duelist Pack Astro Phoenix. Oh, there's two packs in here. Oh, it's Jesse Anderson. It's Jaden Yuki 3 and Jesse Anderson. And this is 2 with Astro Phoenix. Oh, that is the spiciest of meatballs. What the cr- I have never been open- never opened them. Because even though I was like- I could have at the time, I was young. But when the time when those all came out, I was old enough to probably start doing that. I just never got into the game until I was like 16. And even at that, I didn't really start opening up product until like a couple years ago. And last but not least- the spiciest of products from 2001. We're going all the way back to the to the to the old ages, right there, boys. Back like Legend of Blue Eyes and freaking Magic Ruler, whatever. So let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Heck yeah. There's a pack on the inside. Here's the game. I actually love the Game Boy. Uh, I have a Game Boy. I love playing it. So it'll be nice to see this. I'm definitely opening up this pack. Like, there's no way I'm not opening up this pack, right? It's probably better to never open it. It's probably better to hold on to these things. But like, that's not what we're about on this channel. So we want to open up all the spiciest meat bills. And see what we got. And this pack is really annoying to open up because it's like old school done and it's weird and it's not meant to be easy or anything like that. I totally got a second item, by the way, and I just, in the pack, I just haven't got to it yet. Inside, we have, uh, it's all in Japanese. We have ourselves, what is this? He's the, uh, Ah, uh, the Dark Magician, the... Uh, ah, oh, I forget his name. Sage Magician or something weird. Like, I don't remember anymore. But he's beautiful. Big Shield Gardener. And uh, the Dice Card. Oh, what's it called? I don't know. But I'm sleeving all of these up. These are so spicy. So beautiful. I don't even know what you want to pull in this. You could probably get, like, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, I'm assuming. These must be, like, promo cards or whatever for the game. Um. Wow, I got some of the spiciest of meatballs in the set. I am so excited. I don't even... You have no idea how excited I am right now. Like, this is so cool. I love doing stuff like this. Like, one of these days, I said to him, I said, I'm sure I'm just going to give you, like, $1,000 just to, like, make me a box. Like, if my channel ever blows up and I make it to that point which I'm making that type of money, I will drop a $1,000 or more on this man and have him build me, like, the spiciest of boxes. Because, I mean, he very clearly has the spiciest of stuff to get that he has access to. So, and the last package here... No. Invasion of Chaos. Oh, we are so opening up this bad boy. This is a 40 minute long video. I don't even care. Oh, there's some really nice cards you can pull out of this. Blast the Ruins. I think anything hollow is what we really want to go for. Stumbling. Stealth Bird. Ryu Koki. And Curse of Darkness as a rare. Alright. Earth Chant. Uh, Spettle... Spettle Claps. Ojama Delta Hurricane. Manju of the Thousand Hands. And back to the beginning. 
So, did not pull a hollow out of there. I have done that before, though. I I don't know if it was out of that set or what set it was, but I pulled a uh, the sea serpent, uh, the, the, the dragon, the serpent dragon or something like that. I'll put the image up on screen. I'll put the link up in the... Bleh, in the iCard. I'll put the thing up in the iCard of what I got. Yeah. Anyways. Um... Thank you to Go Cards and Stuff USA for this absolutely amazing and spicy of box openings. Um, we this is part one of two. Hopefully, in part two, it's the the spice just uh, keeps on coming with the polls. We'll go over the polls again right here. I'm not going to just say what they are. I'm just going to kind of fan through them real fast here. I'm actually pretty happy with the poll. I think these are like really gorgeous cards. I just haven't seen much of these. They're not very expensive. They're still really nice cards just to have to look at. So, anyways. <coughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on another video. And yeah, I mean, give a lot of support to the channel for this and go give him support for everything that he does. I mean, this is really cool. All right. Peace.